Hey everyone, it's Triple Mango Threat, and today we're going over the card prices from Modern Horizons 2 that are very surprising. First up is Esper Sentinel. I remember this was going for about $35 for pre order, and now it's going for $14. And what's crazy is that if you want the sketch version, it's going to cost you the same as the normal one. So if you want a little bit extra flair, I recommend just getting the sketch version. And if you want the promo or the pre release card, you'll end up paying about twice as much. I really like this card because it's giving more options for white to draw cards, and it's very likely our opponents could pay 1 mana where X is Esper Sentinel's power. Or if we focus on counters in our deck, we could actually build Esper Sentinel up where they're paying at least 3 or 4 mana every time they cast their first non-creature spell. The next card is Ignoble Hierarch. What's really silly about this one is that this is probably, I think, a $60 card at pre-order. Now it's going for around 9 or $8, and if you want the sketch version, it's actually a dollar cheaper. And if you want the old border, you can get it for 20 and if you want the pre-release one, it'll cost you 20 24. This really goes in any Jun deck, and if you attack alone with this creature or another creature, it's going to get plus one plus one until end of turn. Another crazy story is that I actually pulled this card, and I traded for a Marsh Flats at the time, so ends up this decreased 50% of its value, and Marsh Flats is still around the 20-ish dollars, but hopefully the fetch lands will continue to drop in price. Ragavan Nimble Pilferer. This actually held its price okay. I got a pre-release monkey, so it was worth around 140-ish credit I believe so I traded that for actual cards and then we see that it's still pretty much up there I saw it drop to around $60 and I really thought it would just keep going but it's actually gone back up a little bit if you want the full art you're looking at $81 normal 71 and if you want the pre-release one like I had it's around 120 right now Chatterfang Squirrel General this has dropped a lot I believe at pre-release it was looking to be around $80 I was actually talking to one of the local game stores they sold this card for $80 and now it's worth $8, and I actually bought the foil version of this, which is around $15. If you want the full art, it's 11 Normal is $5, which if you love a token deck that's in black and green, I really recommend this one. And if you want the pre-release version, it's only $20. So this is a great price compared to the $80 initially. Imperial Recruiter. Now, right now, you can pick it up for $9, which is a really good deal, because usually it's around $20. And if you want the full art version, it's only $12, which is really insane. I don't personally play this card, but if you're interested in this, I think it's a great time to pick it up right now, because even for Masters 25, you have to pay $40 for that copy, and if you want the Judge promo, it's going to be $100, so $9 right now is a great deal. Next up, we're talking about Titania Protector of Argoth. This is only a $1 card. This can be an amazing commander if you love mono green, sacrificing your lands. Usually this used to be a $15 card. And now for $1, this is a great deal and I really recommend it. And if you want this really sweet full art, it's only $4. And if you want the old border, it's only nine. And then of course in Commander Anthology, this came out in 2017. This is a $24 card. So I really recommend picking up Titania if you ever want to build her. Goblin Bombardment. This used to be a $5 card, as you can see in the previous sets. This is a $6 card. Now it's only going for $0.97. Cent. I really recommend this one. You make a lot of tokens, and you can just sacrifice them, no problem. Enchantress's Presence. This used to be a $5 card, as you can see. It came out in the 2018 Commander set. And now it's going for $1, or even $0.74, cents, which is insane. So you can pick up the pre-release card for only $1. Another great card for enchantments is Solitary Confinement. It's only going for 50 cents right now. This only came out in Judgment, and it's a $15 card. I really recommend picking this one up. Gaia's Will. This was a card that everybody was talking about that was super overpowered. It's the same as Yawgmoth's Will. A lot of people were freaking out. But now that it's been some time, people have probably played the card. I guess it's not very good. I haven't played the card. I own a few copies. But for only 44 cents, you can pick this up and you do the same thing as Yawgmoth's Will. Profane Tutor. I really like this one. I actually got the foil old border and it is beautiful. It's only for $2 right now for the non-foil and it's a tutor that you can cast at turn 2. And in 2 turns, you're going to be able to get a card from your library into your hand. I think it's a neat card, especially because you can cascade into it because it has 0 CMC. But again... If you need a tutor, this is a good option for you. The next card we have is Dam. It's a board wipe that's only going to cost you $4, but you have to play it in white and black. The reason why is because in the overload cost, it has the two white symbols. So now it makes it where in Commander, you have to be in at least black and white deck. If you want the old border, which looks really nice, you have to pay nine for it. Or if you want even the full art version, which is insane. It's only 30 cents more than the original, so I think this is the one to pick up. Vindicate. This is normally a $10 card, and as we see since it's been reprinted, it's only $1.48. 
And if you want the full art, which is very pretty by the way, you only have to pay $3.42. Patriarch's Bidding. If you are a tribal deck and you happen to be in black, I really recommend this one because it says each player chooses a creature type, so let's say you're vampires. Each player returns all creature cards of a type chosen this way from their graveyard to the battlefield. It's probably likely that our opponents aren't playing vampires as well, or whatever tribal we have chosen. This is a great card and only for $1.50. Moving on to Arid Mesa. This is a $20 card. Normally around $30 to $40 if you look at the other sets. Marsh Flats is the lowest of the fetch lands right now at $18.76. Crazy prices are going on right now, so I really recommend picking these up when you can. Misty Rainforest for $30. Normally you have to pay $60 from previous sets just to pick this one up. Scalding Tarn, a $36 card, when normally, again, it's about $60 from any other set prior to this one. Verdant Catacomb, a $30 card, and again, in other sets, we're seeing around $50. Now, what I believe took the biggest hit is Cabal Coffers. I had one from Torment, and at the time before they reprinted this, it was a $120 card, and I look back and I'm like, oh man, I should have sold it, because right now, you can pick this card up for Modern Horizons 2 for $25, and the price from Torment has dropped half. It's now worth $56 instead of the $120 it used to be. The last card we're talking about is Yabimaya Cradle of Growth. This is a legendary land that makes each land a forest in addition to its other land types. This is a really helpful card, especially if you're playing two or more colors and you happen to be in green. So now instead of Urborg Tomb of Yagmoth, we have a green version of that. If you would like to purchase these cards, be sure to use the TCG link down below to help out the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, and you get to support the channel. Thank you to the patrons, and if you'd like to become a $10 patron, you can see your name at the end of the video, and you get an exclusive Ultra Sleeve each month. Be sure to comment down below, and subscribe for more Mango content. I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, peace.